Next thing we need to do is take a look at our hard disk. And the hard disk is SDA, so device SDA, that's what it's called. And it's not partitioned yet. It's so one big block of 30 gigabytes that I put in VirtualBox, and that's it. So we need to uh, use, well, there are different applications out there, but I rather use ZF disk since it's a little bit more graphical. And it gives also already a choice. Uh, what you want to do, is this going to be a UFI? Then is, this is correct. If you're going to use BIOS, uh, then you need to go for DOS. So this tutorial is about BIOS. So we're going to take the second line. Uh, check out the third line, it says label DOS. So everything is cool, we are there. Assuming that it's not um, saying DOS, but it's saying GPT because you're using a hard disk from, from earlier days, you know how it is reuse uh, the, the hard disks and the SSDs, then there is a command you should also know, know and I have uh, written it on the text here, and it's called, let's first do a quit, it's called wipe the file system. And you want to wipe everything A from device SDA. So that's a neat little trick. So if um, the label is not correct, that you say, hey, what's going on? There's a different label, it should be DOS, and it's not. Wipe everything out, and then definitely you'll have, again, the choice to make uh, it DOS or GPT. So you really need to take care that that's correct. So DOS it is, and then we start partitioning. So we move around with our arrow keys, and we say, okay, let's make a new partition, new slice. And we're going to take 20 gigabyte for our root. It's gonna be primary and it's gonna be bootable. We need to tell him that it's going to be bootable. And when we press return here now, we'll see an asterisk in the second column, boot. That's what we need. Arrow down to a free space. Again, return on new space or new. And then 11.4 gig is going to be our swap. But first decide primary, decide the type secondly, one up is Linux swap, and that's it. We go to right already and we check again. So SDA1 is bootable, it's 18.6 gig, it's root, and SDA2 is going to be our swap. Okay, fine, then we can press right and say yes. Write it away. You can quit then, and then at this point in time, your uh, hard disk is going to be cut into pieces. We have SDA1 and SDA2. Next up is, uh, well, another tutorial.